Hello dear students, let us discuss the third case study based questions given in the standard sample paper of class 10 mathematics. So this case study is based on application of parabolas, highway overpasses or underpasses. A highway underpass is parabolic in shape. So you can see here this is talking about this shape. So this is parabolic in shape. So you have learned about parabola shape when uh, you know that when we plot a quadratic expression, then uh, we get a parabola. So what is the parabola? It's a graph of the function Vx is equal to Ax square plus Bx plus C. So what is this Ax square plus Bx plus C? This is an expression of a quadratic uh, polynomial. So ax squared plus bx plus c. Now if you notice over here this black line this is basically the shape of the parabola. Right? It is a c shape curve. So parabolas are symmetric about a vertical line known as axis of symmetry. So what is this? This dotted line vertical line is axis of symmetry and the axis of symmetry runs through the maximum or the minimum point of the parabola. What is this? Maximum point meaning this top. So this top point is called the vertex. So here it is the maximum point. So axis of symmetry runs through the maximum or the minimum point of the parabola and which is called the vertex. So here you see that this is upward parabola. And you see this is the vertex and this is the axis of symmetry. And then if you see another case, this is the case of a downward parabola. So downward parabola here, it means we are talking about this. Uh, uh, this is the vertex and here it is the axis, right? So now in this uh, case, uh, first question is given that in the highway overpass, uh, if the highway overpass is represented by the equation x square minus 2x minus 8, then its zeros are. So we need to simplify this x square minus 2x minus 8. So you know the splitting of middle term method. So we first consider x square minus 2x minus 8 and then we write it as x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. So here if you see you can take x common and then it, 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 it will give you x into x minus 4 plus 2 into x minus 4. I hope you remember this splitting the middle term method. This you have done in your previous class also. How to factorize a quadratic polynomial using the splitting the middle term method. So here what we have done is we have uh, broken this middle term minus 2x into two parts minus 4x plus 2x. Now you see that minus 4x plus 2x gives us minus 2x and when you multiply this minus uh, 4x by 2x you get minus 8x square which is the product of this constant term and the first term. So minus 8x square right. Okay, so when we simplify this, we get uh, x minus 4 common. So x minus 4 into x plus 2. And uh, now we have to find the zeros. For finding the zeros, what is the process? We put this expression x minus 4 into x plus 2 equal to 0. And when we simplify, we see either x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2. That means this product will be 0 either when x minus 4 is 0 or x plus 2 is 0. So we get x is equal to 4 or minus 2. So what is the right answer? Right answer is the second part 4 minus 2. Okay, moving on to the next question. The highway overpass is represented graphically. Zeros of a polynomial can be expressed graphically. Number of zeros of polynomial is equal to number of points where the graph of polynomial this you have studied that 
when you plot the graph, then you see when you uh, plot the graph of a polynomial function, you see it intersects the x-axis at certain points. If it intersects the x-axis at certain points, then number of zeros will be those particular points, right? Number of those points on which the graph is intersecting the x-axis. And if you need to find out the zeros, then you need to read the abscissa of those particular points. Because you know that when a point is on x-axis, the general point is x comma zero. So y is zero and uh, abscissa will give you the zero of that particular polynomial. So number of zeros of polynomial is equal to number of points where the graph of the polynomial intersects the x-axis. The first part is the correct answer. Moving on to the third one. So graph of a quadratic polynomial, this is very simple. You know that uh, when you plot a quadratic polynomial, you get a parabola. This is okay. So let us uh, now move on to the next question. The representation of highway underpass whose one zero is six and some of the zeros is zero. Okay, tell me if one zero is six and some of the zeros is zero. So what, what should be the next zero, the other zero? Think and tell. Yes, it will be minus six. So other zero will be equal to minus six. So here sum is given to be zero. So what is the product? Product is six into minus six. So product will be equal to minus 36. Now you tell me how do you write a polynomial when you are given the sum of zeros and the product of zeros. There is a standard expression for that. Yes, you have studied that in your class. Yes, it is x square minus sx plus p. So using this, you can simply write down x square minus 0x minus 36. So you get answer as x square minus 36. Very simple question. Okay, moving on to the last one. The number of zeros that polynomial fx is equal to x minus 2 whole square plus 4 can have. So first of all, we will simplify this expression. So x minus 2 whole square plus 4. So this means x square plus 4 minus 4x plus 4. So what do we get? x square minus uh, 4x plus 8. So it's a quadratic polynomial. We know that uh, maximum number of zeros of uh, quadratic polynomial is 2. So number of zeros that polynomial fx is equal to this can have is 2. Right? So this is how we have solved all the five questions. Very simple questions were asked. So keep practicing uh, such type of questions and uh, try to increase your uh, observation power, right? And try to see the information, read information from the newspaper or from different mediums and then analyze it mathematically, right? Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.